We're going to open this up and then immediately download this SKP file. Then I'm going to hop over to SketchUp and I'm going to open this, um, this SKP file in SketchUp. Now you can actually see that it has downloaded right here on your um, browser line. So we're going to go from there um, to opening this up. We're going to go open and from my computer, I'm going to go to uh, my downloads and find the uh, two bedroom apartment template. I've downloaded it several times. That's why it's coming up there. We're going to open it. And I'd like you guys to save it. We're going to go up here to the burger. We're going to go save as SketchUp. And then I want you to save it as two bedroom apartment PPL. Uh, We're going to save it there. Um, okay, so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to spin this around. Okay, and um, you can see that we have some instructions down at the bottom. Um, we need the walls uh, to be 4.25 um, thick and 9 feet high. So all of these are going to be basic instructions in order to get a 2 on this assignment. If you follow my instructions completely, you will get a 2 on the assignment. Okay. Um, so if you want the higher um, grades, you're going to need to do your own, uh, your own work. But you can use this uh, to follow along. So um, I'm going to start. Um, I'm going to zip in here. Let's see, I'm going to clear, clear all my drawings here. Okay, um, I'm going to, I'd like to look at this from the top. So a really good way to do that is to use the scenes tab and kind of look at it from the top. If you're using a three button mouse, um, if you click the center um, button, which is the, which is the wheel, and the wheel will actually turn into this orbit. Um, and the, if you press the center button with the left button, it will turn into the pan tool, which we can move left and right. Um, just using the wheel tool, um, the center wheel, we can zoom in and out. So I kind of want an overhead view where I can just see almost all the walls. Okay. Or if not almost all, then all the walls. Um, I'd like you guys, you can close this out. I'd like you guys to um, grab this um, tool, the tape measure tool. We're going to do some guidelines here. We're going to go from here. Um, let's measure across. We're going to go here to here. And you can see that's 27 uh, feet. So let's do maybe to right to about, let's go to about, Let's go to 17 feet, okay? So what I'm gonna do is, um, with that tool, you always wanna go, uh, we click on this edge, click, I let go, I move my mouse or my trackpad, I gesture in this direction, so I'm just moving, I'm not holding it down, and I'm gonna type um, 17 feet. Um, you can see that show up over here. Um, right there, 17 feet, and then I'm going to hit enter. And it's going to snap that um, to 17 feet. Oops, one more time. 17 feet. Maybe it's having trouble with the, um, the annotation, sorry. I'm going to clear that out <laughs> one more time. Um, up like this, 17. Just a minute. Okay, one more time. So, tape measure, right here. Gesture in this direction. Type 17 feet, hit enter, and it drops that guideline right there. I'm going to click on this line, 
and gesture down. So I click move, and then I'm going to type 4.25 inches. You can see that down in the length in the lower right. And I hit enter, and it snaps. That's the width I want my walls. Um, normally, walls are four and a half inches, but it works really well um, to do 4.25, just to give yourself a little bit of breathing room. Um, we're going to do this again. We're going to go uh, from this edge over here over um, to about, uh, let's do 12.6, okay? So we're going to, or, or 12 feet, 6 inches. So I'm going to go 12 feet, 6 inches, and I'm going to hit enter. Um, I'm going to do this again from here. In this direction, I'm going to go 4.25 inches and hit enter. And from this side, I'm going to go back this direction um, and uh, go about 12 feet, 6 inches. You can see that down in the length in the lower right-hand corner. Hit enter, and it snaps into place. I'm going to do this again here over to here, 4.25 inches again like that. Last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to split this in half. Okay, so I'm going to go here to about here. Okay, and uh, I'm going to go, um, let's do, uh, okay, at this point I'm going to do something slightly different. Uh, I want to tap the L key. Um, and that is going to um, give me the, the line tool. You can also select here on the left. I'm going to go from here, from this intersection, up to this edge, and hit intersection again, and that, um, and then tap the space bar. Then I don't get that trailing line. This is going to give me a solid line that I can actually find the center for. So that center is uh, if I hover over it uh, with the tape measure tool, um, you're going to see that little cyan dot right there. Okay, so what I want is I'm going to go from this edge, oops, wait, um, undo, redo. Uh, I'm going to go from here uh, down and grab that dot, okay? Um, and I want that dot, that midpoint dot, over to here. Um, actually, I'm gonna do it with the line tool. Midpoint dot over straight to the line, okay? Um, so this is going to cut the room in half. I'm going to take it and do it again. Um, so we're going to use that, that tape measure tool. We're going to go from here um, out, and then I'm going to go down 4.25. It's going to give me actually all the walls in this whole apartment. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill them up with rectangles. I'm going to type R, and that gives me actually the rectangle tool, and I'm going to zip in on certain sections. So remember, I'm using um, the capabilities of the three-button mouse. It's really important to be able to see what you're doing. So we're going to zoom in really small. I'm going to go from this corner down to this corner and draw a rectangle. I'm going to do this again from this top corner, kind of overlapping that line down to this one. Um, I'm going to do it from this corner here over to this one, and I'm going to do it from here down to there, from here down to here, just filling up all these areas with rectangles, okay, from here to here, um, okay. So uh, now I have to get creative with the eraser tool to kind of create surfaces um, and get rid of some things. So I'm going to get rid of these guidelines. Um, you just need to center the guideline in between um, the circles. And then I'm going to get rid of these little intersections here. 
get rid of guidelines, get rid of these little markers right here. So what I'm doing is trying to create something, a bunch of walls that when I um, when I push pull extrude them, they will create the um, the walls of the apartment. So I'm looking at the space. Okay. Um, now let's say that you wanted to uh, move these walls down. Uh, what I would want to do is I'm going to select these by selecting left to right. Now, when I do this um, upper left to lower right, it's going to select everything that's inside of this. And you can see the only thing that's completely inside of this are the two horizontal lines. See how they're selected right now. If you select from the upper right over here, it's going to select things that are even hanging out of this box. You can see it selects all kinds of stuff. Um, so we don't want that. We want to be able to select upper left to lower right just to grab that horizontal bar in the middle. I'm actually going to take that with the M tool, the move tool, and I'm going to move it down in, oops, sorry, in this direction. Um, let's do it. Um, let's do it one foot six inches. Um, and just, just to bring it out a bit, okay? Um, yeah, I think that looks a little bit better, a little bit more balanced. Um, okay, so yeah, pretty good. Um, okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to take this space that we've created, um, kind of rotate it around. Again, if you want it real sharp, you can go right here to the upper view and see how it snaps it into place. Um, which is a really nice feature. So I'm going to use this and I'm going to take this on the left and I'm going to create these tags. Um, so I have, oops, yeah, that tag, these tags right here. So see how there's a text tool? The text tool is a click, move, click tool. Um, so what I do is I grab it and I go click, move, click. And then it gives me an opportunity to type. It will actually tell me the square footage of the room that I'm in. But what I'm going to do is label things. So I'm going to label this bedroom. I'm going to label this click, move, click, move, click. I'm going to label this bathroom one. So this will be the parent's bedroom and the parent's bathroom. So we'll include a, uh, a door on this side so the parents kind of have their own private bathroom. This one, we're going to go click. Oh, sorry. Um, I can even reference, I think, this edge right here. Um, okay, so I'm going to go click, move, uh, click. And I'm going to go room two. Okay. And then here, click, click, move, uh, click and I'm going to call this room. Okay. This is going to be my living room down here. Click, move, click. And I go click over here and then click, move, click. And this is going to be my kitchen. Um, we're not going to put a wall in between there. Um, people like it feels like a bigger space if you leave the walls out um, between the living room and the kitchen as much as possible. So I'm going to move over here. Um, space bar. I would like you guys. Um, it's a way easier for me if you're going to put. Well, you can put your name on it. That would be very very helpful. So um, we'll do that with the tag tool. Okay. And just go like this and click, move, click, and then uh, go ahead and hit your name. That will be how I can give you your credit. Um, all right, now with this uh, all done, you can submit this for that assignment and you will get a two.
Um, so just create a SNP and then um, submit it for that assignment. Um, thank you guys so much. I'll see you in the next video.